welcome back to another Lego Man Cave video. This one we're going to be talking about the food trucks I'm collecting. Right, so as a city builder, every good city person always knows you need to have some food trucks. So I'm going to run through the ones that I've got now and hopefully there will be some more joining us soon. This one is my latest edition. It's not, well, I don't know, it's not really a food truck per se. I mean, it hasn't got a tow bar, it hasn't got a roof. It's a good looking set, but it's not like the originals. So we'll start with this one quickly. We've got a little hot dog stand on wheels. Again, if it's not going to have a roof or a driving area cab, then at the same time, you know, it should have some sort of a tow bar so it can be pulled by a car or a truck or something. So I might end up doing a little muck with this. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. I've only just built it. I have added a few little pieces myself just because I don't like exposed uh, studs. And even though these are unique pieces, uh, they're new to my collection anyway. I haven't seen them before, but... This and these pink bits, I will want to be changing to something else. Maybe a red, don't know, brown, something like that. Just so it blends in a bit better. I'm not a massive fan of the Lego Friends. But at the same time, they do come out with some good city stuff. Now, this one is the water truck. I absolutely love this set. It is awesome. Tells you all the different flavours you can get. The guy is even dressed like a penguin. There we go, you can get the focus. You get the windows that open and close. Turn it round, you got the penguin on the back. Door opens, so you've got access to the inside. If I try and get a look on the inside, you've got different coloured smoothie machines just here, which, or flavoured machine, you know, flavoured water. You can also see what flavours they do from the back. Plus you've got this giant water bottle on the top. This is just an epic little uh, van. I love it. So there's the water van. Now we've got what some sort of a police chase uh, ice cream van. I think this one is absolutely brilliant. So very, very kitted out for an ice cream van. This part actually shoots, so you can press, uh, or is it pull? I don't know, I've never actually shot it. Oh, okay. Huh. So yeah, that comes down, and then you have discs that go in, and you press that, and it shoots them out. Again, I don't really do with all that. That's more for the kids. I like it for the actual display side of it. Window opens up. we got... A random figure that I've put in there for, um, obviously, for the sales. See how much the ice creams are. Come round the back, good detailing again. It should, there we go, open up from the side. You can see we've got a couple of ice creams for sale. We've got the till. And then we've got the cab area as well. So again... Nice little ice cream set, comes from a police car chase set, I think it was. But again, you know, it's one of these, a lot of the sets I either buy second hand. So like this one, for example, I got it second hand. It didn't come with the, the actual police car, um, but I just wanted this vehicle anyway. And here's our second ice cream van, Mr. Chill. Got a bit more detail on this one. So there's a few more ice creams for sale. You can see he's got a lot more ice cream inside. He's got the ice lol on top and his window slides open and closed. Come round the back, mind that child, just like every ice cream van has. Yet again, opens up so you can have a good look inside at all his massive selection of ice cream. Close it up, sometimes like on this one, for example, you might have to open it up and put something through to poke the window open because that's a design flaw. You know, 
how are you supposed to open that window without having to go around the back and poke it open? You know, it just doesn't work. So at least with these ones, you know, it, it does open. You can get the minifigure access. Looks absolutely awesome. And this slide capability is just perfect. Now I know when I'm describing, I'm not exactly the best at it, but I do try my best. Speaking of the best, I do love me a pizza. So we've got the city pizza van. We've got the shutter that opens up and voila, there is our chef. He has all the pizza, the dough and everything all on the go already. He's got his ovens working. He's got his till. Got the little menu on the side. That's some decent price. You can get pizza and salad. When he's closed, it goes down. Unlike the other vans, these don't open from the sides. So it is literally either rip the roof off or open it up. You have got access like that on both sides. So you can kind of say wings for example like lamborghini style so you could probably serve from both sides if you're in a party in the park or something like that the other bonus thing that about this is he also comes with a little pizza delivery beep, beep. so even though what's this this one looks like a nurse or something i don't know it's quite a cool pattern Again, a lot of these figures are just random figures put with them just to kind of fill the gaps. I do need to go through my figures a bit more detail, but when you have as many as I do, that could take a very long time. And my last but not least van is one of my favourites. It's the burger van. My God, you ever wonder why I'm so fat? It's probably because of the amount of burgers I eat. Now... Sign comes up, we got a proper guy in it, we got the proper driver in it, we got all the sources, you know, absolutely fantastic. You've even got a little door on the back which allows access, excuse Courtney's hair, get me nail in it. So then you've got access for the guy to get in and out, which is fantastic. That part is absolutely solid, doesn't open up. You can open the burger top off, so you've got like modular kind of access. You can see a bit more detail, you know, you've got your salad, your tomatoes, you've got your bun, even got the spatula, so all cooking and getting ready. The other good thing about this is it also detaches from the van. How awesome is that? So it comes as a two-parter. That is just absolutely epic. So once again, another look at this epic collection of food vans. Absolutely love them. I think there might be a few more out there which I haven't got yet, so I will be on the lookout. But at the same time, I also need to consider the space in which my city has to accommodate them. So at the moment, you'll have a couple here. I'll have three of them over here at the rock band. I think I have one round here somewhere. So I do have them dotted around, but it's just trying to find the space for them. Uh, Asda is one of my new builds. I'll get into that in another video. I am trying to work out on this area and this area what I'm going to build, how I'm going to build it. I'm really umming and ahhing what's going on with this beach bit in the corner because anything I build is basically going to hide it out the way. But again, you know, more food vans means trying to find more space to put them. But I've got plenty of cars already. So yeah, if you've liked this video, and you can see obviously where all the trucks go. But yeah, if you've liked this video, please make sure you stick a thumbs up on it. Comment down below, tell me what you think, what you'd do different. And yeah, just hit that notification bell, subscribe, you know the routine. It doesn't cost anything. Plus, I'm nearly at that 1,000 subscribers. So, hopefully, you might be the thousandth one to help. So yeah, thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video of this series.